Hi everyone, my name is Brandon Blair and I'm the product owner for Intel's Graphics Performance Analyzers. Uh, today I'm here to talk about our GDC 2016 release, which includes alpha support for DirectX 12. GPA customers can now enable DirectX 12 features by going into GPA Monitor's preferences and enabling the Force DirectX 12 injection option. And with that, a bunch of new features are enabled. So now I'm going to show live analysis of a DirectX 12 workload using our System Analyzer Heads Up display. We now support showing CPU utilization metrics as well as GPU utilization metrics, including pixel and vertex shader, as well as memory metrics. I'll now show our threading analysis tool, Platform Analyzer, which also supports DirectX 12. I will zoom in here and show a better view of our uh, GPU queue. Um, you can use this tool to uh, spot where the GPU queue is starved and also see how the multiple um, submission queues are submitting work to that GPU queue. Okay, and now for our main application, the Graphics Frame Analyzer now supports uh, DirectX 12. And users uh, will now see that we have a new user interface for our tool. Uh, and in that new user interface, you'll find a subset of our most popular features enabled for DirectX 12 games. So in the center, uh, you'll see the frame rendered on the GPU. And on the right, we have the GPU metrics for that frame. We include a subset of our standard metrics today. These similarly match the metrics that were shown in System Analyzer, but include many more. Again, these are the full frame metrics. On the left-hand side, we have all of our uh, DirectX 12 API calls organized into their respective command lists. And at the top, we have our popular bar chart. Um, now it's organized by command lists but at the touch of a button, we can show the individual API calls that make up those command lists as well. As always, we can graph any supported metric on the y-axis, as well as graphing any uh, metric on the x-axis as well for total control of the bar chart. By selecting a command list, I can see that command list's contribution to the render targets as well as selecting a draw call, which results in seeing that draw call's contribution to the render target. When I select a draw call, I can also see that draw call's textures, as well as its rendered geometry. Okay, let's go hunting. I can graph the individual draw calls in the frame by their GPU duration, and using the auto scaling feature, I can quickly identify the ergs that are contributing most to the frame duration. I can select this uh, longest duration erg and see that it is contributing to a lot of pixels on the screen and see that uh, the EUs are active using my metrics. And I think I'm going to move on from this erg considering it's contributing highly to the scene. Moving on, I can select this draw call which is the next highest duration draw call, and see what it's contributing to the scene. I can see that it's contributing a much smaller portion uh, to the scene, and I can also look at its geometry, see that it's rather complex. I can look at my metrics and see that the sampler is busy 99% of the time. With that, I can investigate the textures see that this draw call has a significant number of textures set, and I can also see that they're of significant size, with most of them being uh, 1K textures. So uh, I can solidify my suspicions by doing one last thing, and that's disabling other draw calls. And after it's done rendering, I can immediately see that this draw call is taking up significant time for my frame, um, and yet it's only rendering to the final render target a small portion of that, about 25%. So uh, in just a few moments, I've found my first inefficient draw call that I should investigate in my code. And with a few more of those, I'll be moved on to higher frames per second. 
Thanks everyone for checking out Intel GPA's Alpha DirectX 12 support. You can go to software.intel.com GPA and download it today.